Maybe are you behind me? Welcome back to another vlog, and this time we're in Greece, baby! But let me tell you something, I wasn't even supposed to be on this trip. So one of my close friends, who also lives abroad, booked this vacay. Prepaid, non-refundable, everything. But in the 11th hour, she couldn't go anymore. So what'd she do? She called up her fellow US escapee to see if I'd want to take it in her place. It took us all of three seconds to just be like, duh. And so now here we are on an overpriced flight, landing one hour late with almost no shot in hell of making our connecting flight to Naxos. But you know what? A girl didn't come this far just to come this far. It's still I don't know. Keep the area clear. I think she's just gone. Baby, are you behind me? Are you content with yourself? Yes, very much. I so still I see, see some sweat stains, but you no longer look like you've jumped into a pool. Give me a minute. How did you keep up with me? I was surprised when I saw you like right behind me. Well, you didn't take a lot of travel leaders. And I was just like, excuse me, sir. Excuse and they me, were. Excuse me, excuse me. Well, yeah, like uh, after like fifth one, they, they step aside. So you full, catch up full with speed. Me. And I'm like, if I trip, that this will is be bad. Like, yeah. I was running full speed too. And then I had to kind of like take you a break. Were... And it was not easy to keep following the signs. I did pretty well until I got here. I made a wrong turn for yeah, it. I went yeah. that way instead of like this way. Yeah. But did you always kind of constantly see me in the distance? No, so like that also was scary because I didn't have time to look at the, the signs. No, that's what I'm saying. So you, you were following me. But there were a few moments when you, you lost, lost me. Lost, yeah. But you knew the gate number. I kind of overheard this lady saying like, oh, our flight to Knoxville was at 12. She's yeah. still here. Yeah. Uh, but you were running so well for like somebody who hasn't slept at all. Look at this superwoman. New York women, that's what, what do you want me to say? City that never sleeps, you keep it pushing. Uh, I see. Look at this guy. Leave him alone for two minutes and he's already chatting up all the, all the ladies. You want spring break or something? Wow. You want spring break or something? So soon I'll be on spring break. Oh my, spring break. <laughs> Propeller planes are no joke.
in here 10 minutes and it already begins. <laughs> had to work because I mean it was a spontaneous trip after all so I figured I'd chill by the pool soak up the sun get some content you know the usual oh my god this is gonna go online down. I'm just taking a little stroll to uh, the restaurant where we, we want to have dinner tonight. The really nice thing about this Sun Dunes Hotel is that there's a lot of stuff in walking distance and we're the type to put down our bags and just like lay the hell down and make life easy for ourselves when we travel. So if you think this is going to be an adventure travel vlog channel of like riding ATVs and all that shit through the sand dunes, I'm so sorry to disappoint. It ain't happening. What is happening though is we will probably rent a scooter because that's what my European man likes to do. Ride scooters, not ATVs like Americans. This whole hotel is like all Americans. You know what? I think it's because when my friend sent me the booking reservation, I noticed that she booked this hotel off of a super popular like American booking website. She lives in France, but um, that might explain why there's so many Americans here. I don't know what it is, but ever since I've moved to the UK, I have not used the booking websites that I used to use back in the US. So the most popular one I used to use was Expedia. Occasionally now and then maybe I'd look at Kayak. But ever since I've been in the UK, it's all been like Airbnbs and Booking.com. I don't know anybody in the UK who uses Expedia or in Europe. So that might explain why every single person at this hotel is American because my friend booked it off Expedia. But it's also like a nice little change. Now that I've lived in London for six years and obviously have been traveling around Europe, for a good chunk of that. I'm so used to going places and seeing British people. I'm so used to going places and seeing Italian people, French people, German people, not really Americans. And when I do see Americans, it's like, oh, what you doing over here? But I think a lot of people from the same country go to the same places, you know? So like all the Brits go to Malaga, like I don't go there. And like places in Spain that I don't go to. Really, really fabulous places. I find you'll have your occasional American. Like when we stayed at Masseria Potenti last year, there were a couple of Americans, like some people from San Diego, some people from other places. The fact of the matter is that it's a very long journey if you're American. So Europe isn't always so accessible to a lot of people, particularly Americans, but that's why I feel like it's such a privilege that I live on this side of the Atlantic because I get to go to these beautiful, wonderful places on this side of the Atlantic with a lot more ease. You know, it's not like how it was back in the day, like in the 90s or like in the 70s, where it costs like, no, no, $10 to take a train across all of Europe, but it's still not too bad. It's a nice privilege to have. Okay, so this is a restaurant where I wanna make this booking tonight. It looks super pretty, looks super cute. It tends to be packed around dinner time. So that's why I'm coming over here to make a reservation. It's called Nikos and Maria. Success, 
got the reservation done. So I'm boring and I'm just gonna go back <laughs> to the sun dunes now because my babe is over there and I'm trying to do my like vlogging and YouTube stuff too. I got work to do too, y'all. Like I'm not just here, sit in, do nothing. These YouTube videos don't edit themselves, so. I think what's nice about Naxos Island and like where we are right now is, you know. Hello. You don't necessarily, you know, you can walk around, you can be chill, you can wear your bikini. You don't necessarily feel like you're about to be snatched up. Cause trafficking is real, y'all. You know, you guys think I'm joking, but like for real, like be careful when you travel, especially when you out here trying to look all cute. You know what I mean? You got certain kind of accent, you got certain kind of complexion or certain color skin. They out here trying to snatch up certain kind of people more than others. I don't know if anybody's trying to snatch me up, to be honest. I don't. People still racist, like people still ain't trying to, don't want black people, but they want black people to work and slave away and do trifling stuff to them. You never know what they trying to do to these black people. If you black, or if you're not black, you a girl, you a boy, you non-binary, anybody. They are snatching up everybody and anybody these days. Y'all gotta be careful, for real. You on holiday, protect yourself. Even the way I'm holding this phone out in the open, if anybody wants to go by on their moped and just snatch out my hands, they could do that real quick. Ooh, we gotta look at this, look at this view, y'all. Hold on. Wow, that's so beautiful. Oh, this is a really nice thing about the Greek, Greek islands. The views are stunning. Hang hey, man. Answer me now. Man, you were dead. You hung him from me. I don't know the words. I don't know the words, guys. I don't know who's man is behind me. But he's on a phone call, so. But he could be talking to his lead trafficker. Who knows? If Bay and I don't make it down to the beach before Saturday, it's gonna be a mess. Like, we need to go to the beach because this is beautiful. Let's take a look. Damn, look at that ocean rippling in the wind so beautiful hey man that's gonna be us soon oh. focusing on filming right now. It's the beach restaurant, it's so nice. Like, it's super vibey. Yeah, it's super nice. Super nice. And after our nighttime stroll, we were off to get some shed eye before our little adventure in the morning. You about to go room room on your Vespa? Yeah. Yes, you are. can see that she's a pro.
Jump on? Yeah. Going all to different places, different planets. Watch your aura pass me by, losing balance. What if we were out of time and second chances? Empty handed. You like the fast life, you like the drive, get down dirty. I got the bad guy. You want some love, be like when you feel like calling me. muscles to hold on. It was intense. But we finally made it to the literally I feel like we're at the top of Naxos with all up in the mountains. It's nice though. It's nice. Is this the place? Somebody's living life. I think somebody over here is living life. Wow. Am I? I didn't notice. How is it? House wine in UK tastes like sh house wine in Greece, like the best that the world has to offer. <laughs> Very nice. True. Whew. I'm not even full. I'm just. I think I'm just tired from that scooter ride. <laughs> I was. You know, holding on to flexing, squeezing my inner thighs and stuff. Not only flexing, you were like all all around the scooter. Baby, I had to get the sights. <laughs> What's the saying on the T-shirt? The, the text on the back which says, "If you're reading this, my bitch fell off." <laughs> if you're reading this, my bitch fell off. Have you seen somebody with that T-shirt before? It's a joke. It's an ongoing joke. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> okay, here we go. I will finish with the chicken and then I will end on the goat. Great pie. I don't even know if I like it in frame. Probably not in frame. Whatever. It's life. Listen, I'm going to be upgrading to like a better vlogging camera soon. But right now we're using the iPhone and like when I film using the back camera, which is great. It's great quality, but I can't see what it's filming. So there's no viewfinder. So half the time I'm like not even properly in frame. So I said, welcome to an East London where half my forehead is out of the frame half the time. What, what, what was the joke? How did I say it was funny before? I'm, I'm sure it's funny <laughs> on the inside. <laughs> there was a joke, but it wasn't recorded. Subscribe for this quality content. Subscribe for this quality content. We're like, I gotta bend down to make sure I'm in frame. To so. be honest, this might be the last episode. <laughs> 
This might be the last episode with him. Okay, so everyone say goodbye because he's there and there's the cliff and I'm here with my camera and my business, so. I want to be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want to just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time doesn't sound like fun you can do better let me show you what a good time looks like you can do better so much better If I want Let yourself be free And maybe you will find That there is more to life Than being pretty Honey, let's just face it You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better So much better Yeah, this is literally me, Kanos. What's crazy to me is like, yeah, these are like people's houses. <laughs> like, you see that woman just chilling in her house? Do you think they do something to the cobblestone so people are not like slipping in shit? Good question. Because I feel like I'm not really looking where I'm going. Baby, don't look at the screen. Act normal. Because I feel like I'm not looking where I'm going, but like, luckily, I'm not slipping and falling. Are you being a comedian? A bit, yeah. Don't be a comedian. Just Easier said than done. Just act normal. Oh, these pants are cute. But I'm not shopping because everything is like overpriced. Oh, this is super cute too. Okay, I like have officially lost my man. Found him. Is this it? Okay. You spotted a shisha place now? Now you want to go? Who are you and what have you done with my bae? The Greek Left. lifestyle is just taking over you? Left it in London. Hello. How are you?
just right here trying to identify which chair to use kind of umbrellas that you can't really move so I gotta cover my arm I guess technically I could like move the beach bed down but I like, know oh, too tired and my my pool boy is over there taking a business call so I guess for now we must suffer in the Sun oh the torture but he's so sweet he didn't want to ruin my vibe so he went to a far sunbed <laughs> to take his call. Look at him with his little hands, drawing a map or, I don't know, business plan in the sky. experience was a dream you know from the fact that like this was an accidental holiday wasn't even supposed to be here shout out to my friend who gifted us this wonderful holiday so beyond peaceful so beyond relaxing we went into naxos town and while it was lovely like it's so busy in naxos town so the nice thing about being over here on the beach at Plaka Beach is just like there's not as many people here. There's a lot more nature. It's less busy. Like you feel like you can breathe. It's just a fabulous, wonderful oasis. And I was actually so surprised to find out that they've only been operating for three months by the time that I've been here. So we have come in July. A lot of places have like growing pains, but Oh, this place doesn't really feel like it. Like, feels like a pretty well-oiled machine already at this point. And, um... Yeah. 